What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a Blender add-on that allows you to quickly create volumetric skies, atmosphere, and lighting inside a Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Physical Starlight and Atmosphere is an add-on from Physical Add-ons. It's an excellent add-on for creating atmosphere and backgrounds inside a Blender. And so Physical Add-ons has also created this Physical Celestial Objects add-on, which uh, we talked about a couple weeks ago. I can link to that in the notes down below if you want to create more like planets. Um, but this one is more for like backgrounds and atmosphere. Um, so it allows you to create skies, sunlight, and atmosphere in order to create different looks. So you can use it in order to create regular looking skies like this one. And it's also got the ability to create more like alien type backgrounds as well. So um, there's a ton of different stuff that you can do with this. You can also find their documentation by clicking on the documentation button at the top of the page and going to their documentation page. That's gonna walk you through how to use the different settings. It's also gonna give you some visuals showing you exactly what the different settings do inside of the add-on. But now, let's jump over into Blender and take a look at the way that it works. When you first go into Blender, you wanna make sure that you go into your preferences and inside of your add-ons, you click on install and you install the zip file that comes with that. And then, make sure that you've enabled physical starlight and atmosphere. And when you do that, that's gonna create a toolbar over here on the right-hand side of the page called Atmosphere. And you can get to that by tapping the N key. All right, so in order to enable this add-on, um, we wanna go over into our Atmosphere settings right here, and we wanna check the box for Physical Atmosphere. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is that nothing has happened yet. The reason for that is because we need to be in rendered mode in order for this to show up. That's why this is really great that this works in Eevee, because if it was just in Cycles, um, making the adjustment and then waiting for things to actually show up the way that you want could be really frustrating. Now, there's a few different things that are gonna show up in here that you can adjust. So notice how we can see things like your sun, your atmosphere, your clouds, all of that is adjustable inside of this tool. In addition to having the ability to use some of these presets that come along with this, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. But like, let's say for example, that we wanted to adjust our sun location. Notice how I can adjust both the horizontal and the vertical rotation. Now notice how the higher the sun gets, um, the brighter, your day is going to be. Or if you take it the other way and you take it lower, notice how you can get kind of a night sky in here as well. So note that my shadow location is changing based on where this is. And so notice how if you have your sun higher in the sky, your shadow is gonna be a lot lower right here. Note that this will work in a cycles as well. It's just the toggling over into cycles usually crashes my screen recorder. So I'm not gonna do that at the moment. But you get control over all of these different things um, with your sun. So for example, you can adjust like the light temperature by using this uh, slider right here, as well as the intensity of the sun. So if you want your sun to be brighter or dimmer, you can just use this slider in order to do this. Now, say that you did want to create a more like alien landscape, you can also toggle the option for binary sun. And so notice how when you do that, and I'm just gonna rotate this up a little bit, this is gonna give you two suns inside of your scene instead of just the one. So this tool is really kind of built not only to be able to uh, let you quickly set up atmosphere um, for regular renderings, but also for like alien style renderings as well. And notice how you can adjust things about that. So we'll, we'll rotate this over like this. You can see this binary sun, but then you can also adjust, you can also adjust the distance and the temperature of the binary sun as well as the same thing for the sun up above. So you also have the ability to adjust things like the atmosphere, right? And so the atmosphere is gonna give you the ability to add like a smog or a fog in the background. Notice how when you do that, it's changing the color of the light that's brought into your scene, just like this. And so notice how the higher up I bring the density, the more it's going to scatter the light from the sun. And you get different results with this depending on if the sun is higher in the sky or lower, right? So you get a different effect depending on the height of the sun. But you can adjust not only that atmosphere, but also the color. Um, so if I wanted to come in here and adjust this a little bit, notice how, for example, if I adjust the um, if I adjust the absorption, that's going to change the color of my scene. That's how they're getting some of these other results. So these other planet type things, um, things like that. So um, just remember that you can make that adjustment if you want to. It just kind of depends on the effect that you're trying to create. Now, say you wanted to work with more of a night scene. So let's say we wanted to bring our sun down. I don't really want a binary sun anymore. Let's say we wanted to bring this down. 
to something more like this and you wanted more stars in the sky, you can use this object right here in order to generate more stars in the background. And so if you wanted more of a night sky, this gives you the ability to make that change as well. And notice how you get control over things like the scale of the stars, right? So how big they are, like this. So you can also adjust how radiant they are. So the radiance is going to give you the ability to make the stars brighter. And then you can also adjust the scene, meaning you can adjust the randomization of the stars as well. And so let's come back to more of a daytime scene. So notice how making the adjustment between that nighttime and that daytime is really easy um, just by making that change. But you've also got the ability to create and adjust clouds. So notice how if I adjust the seed in here, I'm able to randomize the clouds, but you can also set the scale and the height of the clouds like this, as well as things like how thick they are, um, how much detail there is on the cloud. So notice how if I drag that to the left, I'm gonna get this very like artistic look, or if I drag it to the right, I get a lot more detail in here. And note that you can also adjust how many clouds you have in here by adjusting the coverage. Now I have been able to bring this up above one. Um, you do wanna be a little bit careful though. If you go up to like a three or something like that, you're just gonna get kind of a weird result. Um, so you don't necessarily wanna do that, but it looks like you can bring that up to like a 1.25 or something like that and adjust your clouds like this. And notice that that is changing the way that the sun looks in the background as well. And then down below, you can also set the location of the clouds in the sky. So if you wanna move them around or rotate them, this gives you easy control over that. All right, and then finally, in addition to having control over all of this, this also has presets. And so what you can do with the presets is they come um, as an asset library. So all you have to do is drag them in, but notice I can drag these in and they've got preset environments already set up. So this one, for example, um, should be a double sun. Yeah, it's a Tatooine. So it's a, like a Star Wars um, atmosphere, but it's got the two suns and it's got that kind of look. So you can use these presets in order to quickly get things set up depending on what you're trying to do. So there's like a thick haze in here, which you can then adjust from or there's just like a regular earth that you can bring in as well as kind of a starting point. So if you've got kind of an idea of the look you're going for, these presets are a really quick way to get started um, inside a blender with Physical Starlight and Atmosphere. All right, so I'll link to Physical Starlight and Atmosphere in the notes down below. Remember again that it is on sale through the end of the day today with that Christmas 22 code. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this add-on. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.